Red bud, Cercis canadensis. This lovely small flowering tree has popped into bloom here in April. That's generally its uh, flowering range, although this year is a little early for us. Most of the things are popping into bloom seven to 10 days earlier than normal. But the American Redbud is a wonderful small flowering tree. It tops out about anywhere from 20 to 25 feet, but with a spread that is far greater. Um, it can often reach twice its height in the spread. Our example here by Greeley Memorial Laboratory here on Marsh Botanical Gardens, um, it has a spread of just over 30 feet. The purple to violet to mauve flowers of the American Redbud come directly off of the stems and the bark of the trunk. They last for somewhere between a week and 10 days, depending on the weather. They're slightly fragrant and they're quite edible. They're eaten fresh and also used in pickled relish in the Appalachian Mountains. While the flowers are edible, the seeds are not. The heart-shaped leaves emerge after the flowers have fallen and are a beautiful mid-green all summer long, and in the fall they turn a wonderful yellow color. Red buds belong to the bean family, Fabaceae, uh, and there is a separate, they belong to a tribe within that family. There are a number of species worldwide. Um, Eastern red bud, there's a red bud that, is, that you find in the west, Occidentalis, and there are several species that are native to Asia, and one species that is native to the Mediterranean region. That plant that is native to the Mediterranean region uh, had a Greek name, Kerkis, from which the genus name Cercis comes. You want to plant red bud in well-drained soil. It's a, an edge of woods plant, so full sun is okay, but if you have a little afternoon shade, it, that's good too. It's a wonderful plant backed up by evergreens. It's definitely one to have in the garden. The spring display is the fantastic, fantastic show. Cercis canadensis, Eastern Red Bud.